Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, and it's time to get back to Secret of Mana. So, I did do a bit of off-camera grinding to get enough gold to get a few things, and in doing so, Valor has maxed all his current weapon abilities. So, let's control Pranko a bit. Our little sprite friend needs the most work with some weapons. For now, we're headed back to Gaia's navel now that I have the gold to get some armor and reforge the spear. So let's work on that, shall we? Along the way, one thing I can talk about, uh, something someone mentioned in the comments recently that uh, I'm kind of wondering about. I know that it's one of those supposed rules of Let's Plays that you're not supposed to read the text. Obviously, in doing so for uh, Mega Man Battle Network, I always read it anyway. It's just something I tend to do, really. In a lot of Let's Plays that do things that have a lot of text in them, I'll admit sometimes I do find it a little aggravating when the player just kind of blazes through the text, so if I want to actually read it and see what's going on, I have to repeatedly pause the video. So, just reading it, it's just something that comes naturally to me. I'm curious as to what people actually think about that. Oh, gods, it's a bomb. Ow. That wasn't shiny at all. But, yeah, so, anyway, uh... I'm just curious as to how people feel about that, if they find me reading the text annoying, or if they're fine with it, whatever. I don't know if it'll actually change anything just because I'm so used to it, but it's interesting to at least know what my viewers think on things like that. Boy, Pranko, you are doing next to nothing here, and you're poisoned. Wonderful. <laughs> I kind of meant to attack, and... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, if only that also attacked the Buzzbee, but no. Gods, I need candy. This one's off to a great start. It should at least be better once the sprite has some armor. On the subject of the sprite, I'm really not sure what pronoun to use to refer to Pranko here, because I believe over the course of the game, the sprite gets referred to as male, female, and indeterminate. <laughs> so it's kind of tricky to tell. Just to be sure, you didn't have anything unique, did you? Uh, doesn't look like it. I believe I can buy the Rabbite cap down at the Dwarf Village for less money. Later on, Nico starts getting unique armor that... It's pricey, but better than what you can get in normal towns. First things first, though. Let's reforge the spear. And in doing so, we get... The Heavy Spear! So that gives us something else we can be working on. In fact, since it's the only one he hasn't leveled up, let's go ahead and give that to Valor for now. So let's see what we have here. Okay, I need one power wrist. Two spiky suits. And a rabbi cap. Probably want some of these. Alright. So, let's equip our new armor. Yeah, the next area is going to be a pain. <laughs> okay, and you can have a spiky suit too. 
if we'd hit the right buttons. That would help, too. <laughs> oh, God, only a few days, and already I've forgotten where everything is. Wonderful. Okay, that was indeed a good purchase. So, let's sell everything off that we aren't wearing currently. A note about the, uh, the magic rope. You actually cannot sell that, so don't worry about accidentally doing so. Okay, that seems to be everything. We're good. And we're currently fully healthy, so let's just charge right into it. Yep, it's time to actually go to the forest. So, uh, <laughs> things are gonna be questionable as far as how well we do there. We know how things went last time. Can I get any more health items from you? Now that I just have leftover gold, that might be useful. I can't afford any royal jam, though. This early on, it's not like Royal Jam is a necessity because you don't have nearly enough health for it to be that worth the cost. But, hey, four, four health items is four health items, and I might miss having those. We'll have to see how that goes. Kind of wonder what the deal is when it so quickly flashes 20 and then 0 when I attack. Which is actually the number that counts. If it wasn't for really needing to power up the axe right now on Pranko, I'd switch to something else. And Elise's weapon power is up with the sword. Does she need to power anything else up? I actually don't remember. Let's see. All she can power up is the spear, but Valor is currently busy with that. And that's the only thing he has left to power up, too. Franco definitely needs the most work with weapons right now, since he, she, it is our newest teammate. I want to say the canon gender for the sprite is male, but I'm... I'm not 100% sure. The translation does not exactly make it clear. So, back into the forest for real this time. Well, level up is always good. <laughs> At least you kill Stealer. Oh, 34 gold, that's good. And come to think of it, I don't think I ever set Valor to approach an attack, so... Yeah, he's not gonna get a lot of experience that way, is he? Come on, get around the corner, thank you. Yeah, hopefully the new armor we have on everybody and the level ups we have on everybody will actually help our survival rate here a bit. But any extra bit of experience we can acquire is a good thing, so, yeah. Okay, Franco has leveled up the axe. What else do I need? Okay, the other two are already fully leveled up with the sword, but they're also leveled up with the bow, and I haven't actually shown the bow on camera yet, so Chubbin's bow it is. It can be nice to have ranged attacks anyway. Unfortunately, switch to the bow as I am now, I can't cut down the little flower barriers. So, I'll have to switch to Elise real quick to do that. It's 
So now we can actually get through here. We just need the axe. Right then. Wait a minute. This wasn't just a shortcut, was it? It can't be. Okay, no, there's no other way to get here. I was gonna say. But you do have to go the other way first. Well, bugger! <laughs> uh. So apparently it wouldn't have been that bad an idea to have gone further as I was last time, if only it hadn't been for the Moogling incident. The nice thing about ranged attacks like this is you can actually attack enemies on different levels. It's not like melee weapons where you have a very specific level that you can hit enemies at. Yes, you can even attack through walls. Wonderful. The unfortunate thing is, of course, it means they can too. It also seems like things like the bow and the boomerang work better on flying enemies, too. I suppose it only makes sense.